Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement for season seven, episode two of True Blood, where things are looking grim and dim. It's bad. It's looking so, so bad. We've got zombie vampires on the loose and I'm calling them zombie vampires. I don't know. They just seem to be walking around going blood, blood, blood. I don't know, but who's controlling them? Somebody snapped their fingers and they all went like cockroaches. Who's controlling the zombie vamps? And for what purpose? I don't... <laughs> I'm calling this episode, episode one, the what the hell. Like, what? 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 Like, what? That's how they took out Tara. That, that's, that's how we ended Tara. She wasn't my favorite. Annoyed me good half the time. But she deserved better. Not off-screen goo-goo saving her mama who... Mm, Mm hmm hmm But that, for reals, for reals. I fear for Jessica's life. I feel for all, I feel for all's lives. Who knows, it's the last season. Anybody could be taken out. And in the pit, Fangtasia, like really? They didn't check Fangtasia to see if any vampires are hanging out there? <laughs> but in the pit, we've got Arlene and Holly. Oh, and Nicole, Nicole, Noel, Noel, Nicole, Noel. Nicole Noel, Journey Smith, Journey Smollett is in there with baby, ready to be eaten. Can go at any time. I don't know. This is, <laughs> and we have a new James. Some of you have filled me in on the backstory of why we have a new James. I don't know why, but again, Jessica's fine, but there was sparks between him and Lafayette. Sparks. I don't know. That should be interesting. We'll see how it plays out. And I know you want me to get to it. So I'm going to get locked and loaded with the big cozy blanket. I hope you all are ready to go with your beverage of choice. And let's get to it. Looks like an Eric shape. Looks like an Eric ear. It's not Marrakesh. You found me. Didn't make it easy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why'd you come here, Jason? That you'd act like I must have been crazy. Thinking there was something, anything between us. I came because I fucking knew you'd do it. But that if it was true. I had to make sure I was on the right episode there. Like, what is happening? <laughs> Did I skip ahead and not know it? What is happening? That's not enough shaking. What is happening? But I can't get you out of my head. <laughs> you probably hear that a lot, don't you? For a thousand years. Only twice how I felt it in return. Not for you? gotta be someone's wet dream somebody went we need a sex scene jason and eric and somebody's gonna say there's nowhere in the plot there's no way we can make this happen they went we don't care put it in anyway and and this is what this is what we're getting this is what we're getting it's a dream <laughs> Listen up, y'all. Uh, I know today is a dark day, but I think keeping busy and being of service is as good a way to go as any. When we get Arlene back, she's going to be none too pleased with the current state of Belflers. It sure would be nice to put it back together for her. No, you got your hands full here. And like the mayor said, it'll do me good being of service. I cannot believe Letty May lasted longer on the show than Tara. Jeez, <laughs> like the Lord. How come I can't come with you? Because, darling, a crime scene ain't no place for a child. Well, I'm 18. I know you are, but not really. Not really. 
You hear? If Jessica comes back, you do not invite her in. Oops. Oops. Lost control. We're all hungry, Ronnie. We share or we starve. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Or you can kill him as one less mouth to feed. Oh, Reef. But can we please stop acting like savages? I'm confused at the time of day because they should be asleep, right? Right now? Does she know who that is? Does she know who that is? No, I know her. I know, I know her. I just don't know how. <gasps> oh no. What is this? Who oh, is this cramping or something? Why is she cramping? And she recognized me too. She was going to pick me and then she saw me and she took Belinda instead. She spared me. For not long. For not long. Okay, listen to me, y'all. I know I've had some pretty shitty luck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sookie just told them about her now. Do you think she's got any fingerprints left? Wallet. <laughs> Sometimes not being clever makes you a better detective. Mary Beth Grant from St. Elise. Mayor Rampo gave me a call last week, never called him back. Voice mailbox is full. Just rang and rang. Well, I guess we're taking a road trip to St. Elise. I'm guessing that St. Elise is nothing but dead bodies. I'm glad I had that with Tara, but ain't enough. I want more. I want to wrap my arms around her, hold on to her. <laughs> Tara came back to me last night, just after her body left, her spirit returned to me. See, she needs my help. Oh. Which is why I need your help. Why do you need my help? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Does Letty May know Buffett can do this? My terror into a vampire. And then you don't let me have a second chance? You're a selfish, two-faced, no good set. And you a drug addict, you trifling bitch, through and through. <laughs> You're going to hell! That's what this is. <laughs> and I bet you anything he's bringing Holly back today. <laughs> Who was that fucker? Oh, you mofo. He needs to go. You all really are. He needs to go. Seems like the right thing to do. Why? Got a better idea? No. Whatever. <gasps> the vampires are keeping him fresh. But look what happened to her on his watch. You want to get her back? It's on you and us to do it. Fuck. You're right. They have my Kevin. And this is how you die. There's only one thing to do. I'm up. And die. These will make just fine steaks. Take a look around. See yeah, that's it. Trash Arlene's place some more. You mother truckers. How terrible for Arlene. Jeez. If they sniff out even a whiff of mercy, I show you I am dead. I, I, look, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but aren't you gonna die anyway? Arlene. <laughs> yeah, we were so sad when you moved away. I was taken away. <gasps> was she, so are these? Oh, are these heavy vampires in the, in the, the camp? And Eric let them all go? I'll figure something out. You will. You. You. She hasn't done it yet, though, Pumpkin. It's empty. Can't you smell something, Alcide? There's no one left. Oh, no. They are mean and they are looking for weapons and the only place in this town that still has guns is that supply room right behind you. They are coming here. Lock it up! Come on, Scott. She gave these children guns. Okay. 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 They should have locked the door. You 
ever thought about why Jason Stackhouse, who has half your experience and a quarter your IQ, gets the lion's share of work around here? Because I'm sure it ain't got nothing to do with you being a woman of color. Don't let them talk you into handing weapons to people who aren't trained. Police weapons to people who aren't trained. And the gun's not gonna stop a vampire. Fuck. Oh no, Alan! Oh, oh, no, Shit! Oh, Suki. Oh no! Why is why is Suki's phone in the middle of nowhere? Why is Suki's phone in the middle of nowhere? This is my worst nightmare. This. <laughs> This is how everyone dies. Well, maybe they'll go through all the ammunition before, before they. <laughs> Got him in the middle of a goddamn pizza dinner. When do you think they were here? Hard to say. No way to know. Uh, unless we do it. Two and a half days ago. So this was one of the last houses they hit before Bonton? If Jason's pizza forensics are to be trusted. <laughs> got all day let's uh, spread out see what we can find what are you looking for now you see the whole house has been the whole town's been decimated what else are you looking for it's her diary tonight i was just minding my own business having dinner at the diner when he walked into my life his name is henry henry ellis and i knew he was a vampire right away november 3rd 2010 i'm trying so hard not to run away with my heart, but I think I'm losing that fight. Tonight, Henry took me to Fantasia for the first time. So he did show she married Henry? Wipes away all my fear. Did she have an affair with Henry? Apparently, there's this vampire bar where Maudette and Dawn used to hang out at in tree <laughs> Look how fierce there was then seven years before. Forgot about his poopy bangs. Like I said, I can't fight it. I am his. My jeez. No, Letty. Oh, Letty. Oh, no, Letty. Oh no, Letty. Oh no. Oh, this is destructive. Jeez. Um, pumpkin, you're frying your flesh. You're frying your flesh. Well, I need you. It's daylight, pumpkin. <gasps> oh, jeez. I am so sorry. I I've never been woken up before. I I didn't mean to scare you. Well, cuz she kind of deserved it. You don't go sneak it up on a vampire like that. Okay, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Compel her to not want your blood anymore. I don't know about this imagery. <laughs> Not to keep driving. We got a full tank of gas. Go and go where? Sounds like it's all over. We have exactly 12 minutes to get you all out of here. Betty, you don't look so good. Oh, are you? Oh, are you okay? Oh, Betty's gonna die before she gets a chance to free them. Before we do this, who's it gonna be? You can have my blood. It's the least I can give you. If they find us and you got bite marks in your neck, there'll be no way to cover this up. Okay, that's good. Now you're done. <gasps> 
Is this how Lauren Lean dies? Oh, this is how Betty's dying. And she didn't free him. Andy! In the attic! When the sun sets, I'm going to find her, Andy. And I will. I'll find her. Just take a shower before you get into our sheets. All right, fair enough. Hey. So, Kiki, are you planning on going to a trip to Bill's while he's in the shower? You gotta run fast, and it's in the dark time. You're gonna get caught. You took the time to put your hair in a ponytail? <laughs> Why are you here? If I got myself into some serious shit, would you be able to feel me? Okay, <laughs> we're switching gears. Okay. You found me. <gasps> what? So many questions. So many questions. So many questions. How did Eric survive the mountaintop? And he's got. Hep V. Huh, how the hell are you up in France? Qua, 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 what? <laughs> qua, qua, okay. <laughs> there was a lot and nothing happening. Oh my gosh, crazed mob people. Uh, that's, that's a trigger because we live in that now. And that's a trigger for me. I don't like that. I don't. Yes, they're scared, but these people are going to get innocent people killed. And I hate that more than erg. That's a erg. If I could turn it off and not watch it again, that's that's something that would make me go away forever. <laughs> the pacing of this episode was weird because they arrive. The gang arrives in St. Elise. They obviously I'm sorry, you can tell right away. Things are boarded up. It's empty. This town has been decimated. Get the hell out. Go back to your town and fortify a new plan now knowing what is what is. Okay, and since Suki reads Fantasia and she didn't go, maybe somebody's there. <laughs> so yeah, it still looks really grim, freaking dark. How are they gonna get out of this? How are they gonna get out of this? <laughs> And I want to power through these episodes just because I'm going, now what is the plan? I don't have time. Mm, but I will get to it. I promise. And I need you there with me to give me hugs while we, while we push through. It's going to make it a lot more enjoyable. So thank you so much for being with me. I do appreciate all the time that you shared. Please take care of yourselves. Don't get the hep B. Stretch your bodies, keep hydrated, and then come see the next video in the queue. So until next time, y'all.